leader and event coordinator for the Shen Education Awareness Team. Did you know that in the 2015-2016 school year, there were 566 kindergarten students enrolled at Shen? Those students waited for, boarded, and disembarked their buses 320 times. They rode on their buses approximately for 515 miles and spent an estimated 1,417 minutes on their buses. And that was only in their first year. That is why the C-Team continuously strives to educate students on school bus safety. Welcome to Kindergarten Orientation. In this video, you will learn everything you need to know about riding to and from school on the bus. First, let's see how you should wait for the bus and what to do when the bus picks you up and drops you off. The first thing to remember is always be at your bus stop 10 minutes before your bus arrival time. It is important to find a safe spot to stand and wait for your bus that is 15 feet or 10 giant steps away from the road. As the bus comes closer, you will see yellow flashing lights come on, but stay in your safe spot. Then your bus will come to a stop and you will see red flashing lights and a stop sign, but still stay in your safe spot. Look up at your driver. Your driver will check all directions and when it is safe, give you the signal to cross. Once you've gotten the signal to cross, look both ways, then walk across the street. But if you ever hear the bus horn, go back to your safe spot because that means danger. Use the handrail, go directly to your assigned seat and buckle your seatbelt. Now it's time to go home. Stay seated until the bus stops. Use the handrail and at the bottom step, look both ways before getting off. Then take 10 giant steps towards the front of the bus. Make sure you see the driver and the driver sees you. Wait for the driver's signal, then walk to the end of the bus, look both ways, then you will get the signal to cross the rest of the way. Remember, if you hear the horn, go back. Now we will show you some of the rules for riding the bus so you can be safe. Kindergartners always sit in the front. This is so we can keep an eye on you better. Always stay seated. Remember, bottom to bottom, back to back. This will keep you safe while the bus is moving. Backpacks go on your lap with all your belongings neatly inside. Hanging things can get stuck in the door or handrail and you could get hurt. Hands and feet stay in your seat. It's important to keep the aisle clear so no one trips. Talk quietly. Just like in your classroom, always use inside voices when on the bus so the driver doesn't get distracted and can focus on driving you safely. No eating or drinking on the bus. Some students may be allergic to what you are eating or drinking, or you could choke. So make sure you finish your breakfast or snack before boarding your bus. Now let's take a look at some of the danger zones around the bus. The danger zone is a 15 foot area around the bus where you can't see the driver and the driver can't see you. So let's take a walk around the bus and look at some of the danger zones. We'll start in the front of the bus. Do you know why we tell you to go out 10 giant steps? It's to keep you out of the danger zone so you can always see the driver and the driver can always see you. So let's go around to the side danger zone. Take 10 giant steps back. If you are any closer than this to the bus, you are in the danger zone. Now we are at the back of the bus. Can you see the driver? That's right. Remember, if you can't see the driver, then the driver can't see you. So never walk or cross behind the bus. It's a danger zone. And finally, a message for all parents. We would like to thank you for watching this video and helping our drivers keep your children safe. But before you go, here are some things to keep in mind. Always be ready at your child's stop at least 10 minutes before scheduled pickup time. Traffic, weather, and lack of students can alter arrival times. Parents may not board the bus. If your child needs assistance, inform the driver and they can help. Be at the stop in the afternoon to receive your child. Unless they are at a group stop, the driver will not release your child without an authorized adult present. Please encourage your child to wear seatbelts and follow the bus rules, as we will be doing the same. These rules and regulations were put into place for the sole purpose of keeping your child safe. On behalf of the SEAT team, thanks again for watching and have a great first year.